We came from Tasmania where we did intensive crop farming. We've come up here to North Queensland to Kaelin where we've got a 400 acre cane farm um, and we're producing cane. We've gone from about a 3,000 tonne farm to a 5,000 tonne farm in three years. We've been dealing with new Shay from Pharmacist. She introduced us to the program about getting the right nutrients for the right levels. Meeting Dale and Corinda, they obviously had a lot of background coming from other industries. So coming into the cane industry, they were full of questions and um, you could tell that they were getting advice from a lot of different people, which is always a good thing. And signing up with the project, I think was really beneficial to them. We started off by running our soil tests, developing up a nutrient management plan based on those results and altering um, the nutrition plan based on the different soil types. We can see a big difference in our property and the work that we do with Shea is leading to better, better crops, better CCS, good result all around. Every grower is different and so we work specifically with what those growers' needs are. Some growers have, need a lot more advice on one topic than others so we sort of try and tailor our on-farm advice and activities to suit that particular farming enterprise. So with focus on the runoff that's leaving farms and entering the reef, obviously it's important for us to focus on what's going on on the farm and ensuring that what's being put on with the fertiliser rate is actually what the crop demands. We're not putting on excess, which leads to losses, but we're also not putting on um, lower rates that are going to impact on yield. I think what we're recommending is meeting crop demands and um, saving growers money in the end, less fertiliser costs, so it really is a win-win. I guess through Shay with, and my history in fertilising, I don't like, I didn't like the idea of putting fertiliser on top. We've decided to move from Dunder to granule fertiliser, so we've just bought a new stool splitter. We're burying the fertiliser probably around six inches deep. We've gone to our 30 inch colders, big colders, with big double discs and the stool zippers to be able to get the fertiliser right where it's going. So we're burying it and covering it up, sealing it up totally, as probably as good as we can practically do to keep it right in the root zone. And we've kind of changed that in one year. Oh, pharmacists has been pretty good help. We can always get Shay most of the time on the phone and we ask her some, some niggly questions sometimes but she seems to be able to find out the rest of the people in pharmacists. They're always ready to offer us the right advice at the right time and not scared to answer the phone when you ring. Doesn't matter what time of day or night, they'll still answer, so that's good. And at least I think if they don't, they tend to be, if they don't know something, they say, we don't know that, but we'll have to find out. And they do find and out. We'll find out and come back to us. So as well as doing our on-farm work, we also like to run a few workshops. Um, one of the main points is to get growers together because growers learn a lot from talking to each other. Any of the um, workshops or programs or, or seminars or field trips they have. One of us try to get to. Even if you go to them and you only learn one thing, it's one thing you didn't know yesterday and it's one more thing you can put in to maintain and sustain a better crop, better farm.